היי גייז. So another episode in the plats, synthesis, models, series, today we have the wave table, oscillator. So we have a few banks of waves, um, let's see how this will sound like. To the left we will be able to scan through them, and to the right it will just, uh, just jump from one to the other. And we can scan. Oh yeah. Oh. And here I know I've noticed that here we have just a sine wave. With harmonics, or overtones. Okay, so really nice. Let's uh, let's start. Let's disconnect this for a second, and let's see what we can do. Let's send, for example, let's start with a trigger. Let's go with uh, let's say hundred twenty-five. <laughs> okay, I need something. I need a. Maybe a rhythm. So let's go with... Um, actually, there's a sequencer I'm using a lot lately, which is really nice. It's a sort of a SEC3. So it's... A, where is the SEC3? This one here. So it's quite the same, but you have also probability for the gates for each row, which is quite cool. So let's do this. Let's disconnect this again. Let's multiply this by 4, the clock, and send this to the external clock of the SEC3ST. And now let's send the first uh, probability gate to the trigger, and now we can start setting the, setting the probability. Let's go with 7 steps. So let's say step 1. Always will play, so 100% probability. 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 <laughs> Then let's say 3, let's say 50%. Then let's 6, also 100. And then let's just add a few more steps. Oh yeah. Just like this. Let's already add maybe some delay with the chronoblob. So again, um, I will use only plats in this mode, in the wavetable oscillator mode, as a um, sound source. Let's sync the delay. Let's go with the mono delay. Okay, let's take down the wet. Oh yeah. Very nice. Let's see what we can put maybe in the send and return. Let's go with a new filter, a new in VCV from Nano, which is called Font. So I'm just uh, using it in the feedback loop here. Resonance. Okay, let's modulate this with an LFO. Don't go crazy. <laughs> let's see. But slow LFO. Just to add some movement, of course. Some reverb. Oh yeah. Let's call this, how shall we call this? Let's call this high. I don't know why, but it's high. 
Oh yeah, so we have some movement. Now let's modulate the timbre, um, let's say with the first row. So the first row we can also output CV, which is also quite cool. So you have two different things you can do with it. So we have even more movement. Really cool. Let's have a look. Let's already duplicate this and let's have a look at another thing maybe we can do with it. Again, let's take the probability of the second row this time. By the way, the auxiliary output will be a sort of a lo-fi version of the sound. So you can also um, experiment with this maybe later. Let's see. Let's go with uh, 200%. Very nice. And let's go with another delay. This time I will take the delay from VCV, which is quite quirky. Quirky! <laughs> and can be really nice. Let's take the mix all the way up, um, time all the way down maybe, and raise the feedback. Yes, quirky. Okay, let's go with something maybe. Okay, let's modulate the timbre again with the second row. And the second row is not doing so much actually. So let's go with the third row. Something like uh, the eight, never mind, because we have just seven steps. Let's see. Let's add another step here. And actually, let's take them a bit. Let's take them a bit down. So they're not 100%, but just a bit more, a bit above 50. And now let's do this. I need this even higher. Yeah, this is nice. Let's call this glitch. Glitchy, glitchy. Add some reverb. Very nice. And now let's take sample and hold. I will use this one, the new one, for Mokba because it has so many. Let's trigger the first row with the same trigger that triggers plats. And let's actually change also the Lopez gate here. Yeah, something like this to be a bit shorter. Very nice. Okay, now let's modulate the time. Let's change this to, let's say, negative 3 and let's say 1. <laughs> let's modulate also the panning of this. So let's take another sample and hold, this time negative 5, positive 5. Take the high frequencies out of here. The low frequencies, sorry. <laughs> okay, now let's have a nice uh, sequence, I guess. So I will take another um, flats. And let's see, let's say that the third row will be our sequence. Let's say the third and the first. So let's take a sequential. Hopalach, hopalach, sequential switch. And we will chain, let's say one, one, and two, and three, sorry. We will use two also? No. Let's say one, one, and then two, three, and steps to the sequential switch. And let's trigger it, uh, the sequential switch. Let's trigger it and reset also everything. But we will send it. 
And you know what I can do? I can s for the clock I can use the first output of the first gate, so it will uh, finish the cycle and then trigger the sequential switch. And then we need let's take Revin as our quantizer. Um, let's take the first row and let's go with C something. Yeah, I say it all the time. Something special. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> output to the mixer. And what I will do also before the quantizer, I will send it to a VCA because it's way too high, as you can hear, it's it's painful in the ears. So just let's take it, let's say to 30%. Oh yeah, this is a nice sequence. We will also use but you know what? No, let's do something like this. Let's use a different envelope generator. Generator. Let's take the AD envelope and um, to modulate the level of this plats. Oh yeah. And now let's use also more sample and hold to modulate, let's say the, let's start from 0 to 5 volts to modulate the timbre a bit, just a bit, and let's modulate also the morph, and for the harmonics let's go with an LLFO with an LFO, um, and let's go with... Hmm, how can I control this? Because there is no attenuverter here. So let's do this. Let's use offset also. And this will be our attenuverter. I will use a unipolar signal. Go to offset and from there to the harmonics. And I want it all uh, only to go down, to go to the left. So let's uh, invert it. Slow. Beat some reverb. Oh yeah. And let's call this sec as in sequence. Oh man. We have frogs here in the patch. Now let's take the same sequence and add an octave below. So I have here another plats and let's lower this an octave. Leave all the settings as they are. I will use another envelope. I want exactly, almost exactly the same, but an octave lower. So let's take the same per octave. And uh, actually I can use the same envelope. Or you know what? No, or I will make this envelope a bit, a bit longer. The decay time a bit longer. Let's see. Um, what do I need? To trigger the envelope. Oh yeah. Maybe the harmonics we can modulate with sample and hold. Let's see what happens when I take it two octaves down. Oh yeah! Okay, so let's mix this mixer. Let's use the one from... Okay, this is what I can do. I can use the one from Lindenberg. Ah, but then I have to say to use the same envelope. Oh, never mind. I will just use the one from Lindenberg without using its built-in VCA. It doesn't matter. So let's do this. Let's take both. Oh yeah. Very nice. What we can also do, we can also use Fate to add even more change here in this sequence. 
So let's send the sequence first to Fate, and then back to the Quantizer. We will trigger Fate. We will trigger Fate with the same clock. This is a multiplied by four clock. Open the choice depth, and uh, let's add some probability. Now I need something... something a bit brighter. It's a bit too dark here for me, I guess. So let's add another plates, of course, of course. And let's see, let's reset uh, the settings here. Okay. Something brighter. Let's do this. Let's disconnect this for a second. Let's create a nice sequence. A nice slower sequence. That's all what I want. Down, now, now. So let's go with the phrase sequence because it's easiest. steps. So we'll take the 32 version of it. Okay, and let's send the CV to Platz and let's see if I have the... Okay, it's really easy. An easy sequence. Okay. So, one, two, no, 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 B flat, G, all the way. I'm just holding control and clicking the right click on the mouse, and it just, it just copies this note. And now I'm going to add also some slide, so slew, to all of the notes. Very nice. And now, let's clock this and reset, reset us. Reset us everything, everything goes. Never mind. Let's reset everything. And I will use the clock, the normal clock. Okay. Let's see. I just have to take this an octave lower, of course. Maybe even more slide or glide or portamento. No, it's okay, it's okay, it's nice. It's not sitting because it's not... Uh Very nice, because it's not, again, this uh, seven-step uh, thing. Let's call this Melody, or Meld, which is nice, because this is the Mind Meld mixer. A lot of reverb. Very nice, okay. Now, let's take two LLFOs, different length, uh, different uh, frequency, and also different waveforms, and let's modulate. 
The Timber and the Morph. Now let's see what we can do with some FM. So I will add... Oop, where is it? Here. Two more plats. How many we have already? One, two, three, four, five. Only five. Nah, we have to continue. So let's have two plats. Let me just... I will just reset everything here. Again, only wave table. Oscillator. Very nice. Now let's trigger them with the third row here of this sequencer with its probability. One will be the modulator, so it will go to the FM input of the carrier, the second macro oscillator. And let's have a listen to this first. Let's see. Let's change this also, let's say uh, one octave above. Let's go with the sine wave first. And let's take the envelope down here. Oh yeah, very nice. Let's take this maybe even two octaves up. Okay, now let's use the second output of um, Fate and also quantize it. And let's use also sample and hold just so we don't have those... Uh, we don't have those tails of the notes. So I'm sending it to a sample and hold and I'm using the same trigger I'm using for the oscillators to sample this pitch. Why is it so high? This is weird. But let's see how it works with another blob. Let's see, maybe it's nice. This can be nice. This can be a disaster. <laughs> Let's go with the stereo one actually this time. Lots of reverb also here. Let's call this... How shall I name this? Let's call this Sec 2. Oh. And let's use another LLFO to modulate the panning here, nice and slowly, and not all the way, so let's take the pen CV input. Let's take to about 60%, so it's not hard left and hard right.
Okay, now let's do something like this. Let's use Boolean logic. I will use the new one from uh, non-linear circuits because it has four inputs and we will go with XOR, perfect. And I will use the three outputs from the sequencer, from the probability output. So now whenever one or the other is playing, not when uh, all of them are playing together, but only one or the other, then we will have a step. And let's see what happens with this uh, slew output here. Oh, okay, so it's a slewed output, which is also interesting. Very cool, but I will use the step output. Ah, which is also creating a sort of a sequence. So what we can do, we can use this for another sequence, or we can use this for triggering another plat. So let's again reset everything, and let's uh, try to create another voice. Let's see. Hmm, let's see. Let's change the low pass. So this is something, for example, I usually don't like when you edit the low pass gate and then you go out of the settings, uh, plats will take the settings you have uh, changed. So now the sound is also changed, which I don't like so much, but uh, now it's nice. Let's see what we can do with this. Let's see what we have for our disposal. our disposal, not four. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. I know, there is somewhere, uh, there is a new EQ module. And I forgot from which collection this is. Uh, oh, there is also this joint we can use. But there is a three band EQ. Should be a new module. Let's see, band. No, I never don't find it. Never mind. It's supposed to be a new module. Okay, so let's see what else we can do unless I'm finding this module which I'm not. What we can also do, we can use booty shifter here for the for this sort of a solo sequence and have it more with more movement. So if I solo this. We can hear it, we can use another um, LFO. To modulate this. Let's go back to this voice here. Oh yeah. Let's see what happens here also with the delay. Let's go again with the VCV delay. Yeah. 
oh, let's modulate the color here and I'm going to add also Debreatus. Also with sample and hold. Um, let's go with... Oh, that's okay. Let's add Debreatus for some crunchiness. Crunch, why not? Let's leave the bass. What we can do, we can send this to another filter. Let's use this joint now. Just because it's new and I want to use it. So I will send it to another, another copy of it. To this joint and I will uh, go right. So right is a high pass filter. To the left is a low pass filter. Sort of a D DJ filter. And let's use this and send this to another blob. I know I'm using a lot of blobs. But I love the blob, I love chrono blob. It's a really, really nice delay. And let's take it all the way wet because I just want the high frequencies. And I will take the high frequencies out of this crunch. They will, they will come out from the delay. Reverb. Let's call this crunch delay. Okay, now this just needs a better mix, I guess. Oh man. Very nice. Okay, but I think we are done for now. This was fun. I like this model. The wave table. Very cool. Okay, thank you for watching. Uh, like always, there will be a link in the description to this patch. You can download it and take a closer look. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the like button. If you enjoy what I do, consider becoming a Patreon. If you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe and hit the bell. Have a good one.